Good morning. Back on trail again. Got dropped off at the, the dirt road where we got picked up before. A little um, down the dirt road. And uh, hiking into all that. I probably should have cleaned my lens. Hong Kong at shellac just behind us. I'm sure they'll be flying by us in no time here. Had a gas station breakfast and brushed my teeth there. Got to brush my teeth at a sink. That was nice. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. It's very cold this morning. I think it was 32 last I looked. But now the sun's kind of hitting everything, so I'll be hiking through some wet mud. And, uh, I can better put some sunglasses on. I can't see what's happening. It's cool, it's damp, but it's very pretty. The sun is shining. The sun is shining, yeah. Makes it nice. Stop admiring the scenery and hike. Just another gorgeous valley with the aspens. Beautiful. I think we're going to be heading up into some of that action over there. That's another big old burn area. Beautiful blue skies and white puffy clouds, but we're walking into gray skies and snow. Wah wah. Just out here in the middle of nowhere. Somebody left like, looks like they're probably their whole hunt camp. That's really nice. Rig and they even have a stove. It's like a spare stove. I would love to camp in somebody else's tent, but it's too soon. Kind of been meandering our way through the valley. Now it's time to head out over there. I'm gonna crawl, go down, cross that creek, and then start climbing up into those uh, mountains uh, looking for a pass, a pass I had forgotten the name of. But we'll be up over uh, Getting up to 12,500 again today. All right. No trail to be found. So we are literally just climbing straight up the side of the mountain, hoping to find the trail up top. And uh, you can imagine it's a lot of obstacles and it's hard. But we'll get there, hopefully. <laughs> Almost up to 12,000 feet. Imagine once we get up there, another side will be in snow. This is what I've been climbing up. Trying to find, follow the animal trails, zigzagging their way up. So, this has been rough. According to our maps, the trail is like right over here, but there's really nothing. Just climbing on the side of a Deep mountain, just literally climbing through branches and trees and I don't know. I'm hoping we find some trail at some point because this is ultra slow going. After a lot of climbing, slogging through wet squishy ground, 
log hopping and trail guessing. I've kind of found the trail. I think that's it. But it was, uh, took us over an hour probably just to get a mile. I don't even know if we, <laughs> that was hard. Not that it's getting easier, but <laughs> at least I kind of have an idea where to go. Like, I think I see some footprints. Let's see, a couple little old footprints there. Getting up on over that. After all that struggling, you get rewarded with some pretty cool stuff. It'll be even cooler once I'm up and over it. Could be like an 1,200 foot climb, a 1,000 foot climb, I don't know. Can't really see him, I hear him making noise, yeah. Whoa, Scheiser, I'm gonna fall down the mountain now. What are they? Again, they start, when the snow starts, they start getting more white. Whoa, whoa. Gosh, I'll fall down. Maybe I'll make the noise again. Let's go get him. Want to get a good shot. Is that, I think that's Fluffy and Roadwalk down there? Nice. Or from the other crew. Maybe it's other crew. Yeah, because it sounds like girl's voice. I heard a girl and a guy. There's two of them. This is, these are mountain penguins. Um, there's only about 100,000 left on the planet. They're endangered. The densest population is right here, these four. Five. Uh, they're making a funny little noise. But you guys are some tough birds. Alrighty, let's see what this sign says. Oh good, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But this side, Pitnell Divide Trail. Woohoo! We're back on the red line finally. And we're up at our first big climb. What'd you say our elevation was up here? 12,100? right through a muddy puddle and got my feet even wetter and colder. Yeah, your feet are already wet. Yeah, that's beautiful up here now. You did that miles back. Beautiful up here. That'd be a hard fall. I think that right there is going to be the high point. At least I hope so. I don't want to climb that one. <laughs> trail up and over like 0.3 miles away from the high point it's been brutal 
My feet are soaking wet, frozen. My knee from my kind of chronic issues and my fall has been killing me on these uphills. But it's pretty. That being said, I'm so ready to get down out of the snow. I'm very ready. <laughs> All right, I think I'm just climbing to go up and over there and I'm really hoping we're descending. That's been really painful for me up here. Beautiful. I'm really, really hoping, I gotta look at the map. I'm really hoping we're just hiking down into that tree line. Gosh, I hope so. We get out of the snow. Oh, beautiful. 12,600 feet, high point of the day. Yeah. Following the mountain lion tracks. So we're following the mountain lion tracks down the mountain. <laughs> Just amazing. Even got the the moon up there. Oh man, it's pretty. So cool, so beautiful. It's getting darker, it's getting colder, which feels really awesome. We have wet feet. And here. Seem to be separated, excuse me, separated from our crew. Hong Kong and Shellac are still back there, as well as Andy, Fluffy, and Roadwalk. Really hoping to see everybody today. Have like a lunch reunion, but it wasn't in the stars. Probably see them in the morning or tomorrow at lunch, unless they night hike. Although this isn't really night hiking terrain. A little rough. All right, calling it a wrap for the day. We didn't get as far as we wanted, but it's getting really cold. And uh, I just don't want to hike right next or camp right next to a lake. So we're already like in a moist, exposed area, but whatever. I have to keep our fingers crossed. Right now it's clear, the moon is bright. <laughs>